Hello there guys and welcome to what is now our ninth uh, C programming tutorial in the C programming uh, tutorial series. Uh, this tutorial we're going to continue with the for loop and we're going to go ahead and talk about a nested for loop. So to waste no time for this tutorial guys, go ahead and create a new project and um, go ahead and add a new uh, source file here in, um, in the source file folder. If you don't know how to do that, I suggest you refer to the previous tutorial so you can do that by pausing this video and watching that or go back and watch that and then and those are actually great references so if you haven't watched those tutorials I suggest you do they're very informative and if you haven't even watched my other series of tutorials you should also go ahead and check those out and give them a try and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so guys and leave as many comments as possible they're very appreciated and and if you do so I'll, uh, I really appreciate that so, and to waste no more time let's go ahead and get started so let's go ahead and include the standard IO, the standard in input and output library. And this is a continuation of our previous tutorial. So if you haven't watched that, I suggest you do, that will be very helpful. Alright. So let's go ahead here and we're just gonna go uh, straight, let's go ahead and go inside our for loop here. So we're gonna type for in i equals zero i has to be less then 3 and i plus plus and open bracket close bracket but don't forget to put a parenthesis here and let's go inside them and let's also inside the for loop we'll have another for loop which is, which is the reason why it's called a nested for loop so if j equals 0 and j is less than 3 or let's make it less than 4 and j plus plus and what we will simply do here is this is print out. So we're gonna print f. Let's print percent sign d. Let's say i equals, and then let's put a comma and put j equals, and percent sign d. And what we want to do here, let's go ahead and print those out, and let's put a return character here and let's put i and j and let's get outside the for loop here and let's type return zero this is important this will tell our main that everything here executed successfully and basically we're done so let's go ahead our code uh, over our code very quickly here so we'll, if you didn't watch the previous tutorial i suggest you do that will explain what uh, how uh, why we should initialize the y here and um, from in, in our previous tutorial we had a, we declared the variable an integer type a data type variable and we initialized the 10 and called it max so that was our threshold here but here we just said um, we just input the number by ourselves in there but you can also declare a variable that's a more uh, professional way of doing it but for this tutorial it's just um, I'm just trying to quickly go over this so so here our nested for loop. So we have our first for loop. What this will do is basically go from zero to two because a condition here says this. So if i is one, if i is zero, we'll start with i is zero and then i is one and i is two. But so once we hit three, this will become false and everything will break out. So once we go here, okay, i is zero. Okay, this uh, conditional passes. So now we go inside of here to execute whatever is inside the for loop, and we have another for loop. So we have j here, j equals 0, and it's less than 4, so this will go from 0 to 4. So this will execute, so what this will happen here, this will execute, the in inner loop will execute 4 times. So we'll print this statement 4 times. So we, we will start with i equals 0, j equals 0, i equals 0, j equals 1, i equals 0, j equals 2, i equals 0, j equals 3, and then i equals 1, j equals 2. So what this will do, it will, it will print this statement here four times for every i and then we have we're gonna have three times we're gonna execute this loop until this condition becomes false so zero to two that's zero one two that's three times we will execute we'll go through through this for loop and for every time we go through this for loop we're gonna go four times and execute whatever is inside this for loop so a total will execute four times three so we should see 12 uh, basically printf statements here so if we go ahead and, and print this out, I mean, let's go ahead and build this and run it and you will see what I mean. 
uh, let's go ahead and start with our debugging so we do here 0 0 0 1 0 2 0 3 let me see 1 0 1 1 1 2 1 3 2 0 2 1 2 2 2 3 and we see 12 here printed out well this um, this nested for loops are very very helpful and yeah, if you if you if you uh, further advance in programming in any language you will find this very useful and when it comes to arrays which we'll talk about later you'll find this um, um, basically extremely helpful all right guys so thank you for watching this tutorial in nested for loops if you have any questions leave comments shoot me a message and if you have um, and if you haven't watched my other series of tutorials or this series or the previous tutorials on in the C series of tutorials I suggest you do that and it will be truly appreciated and if you haven't subscribed to my channel guys please do so check out all my other videos and there will be more videos coming up very soon so thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and we'll be back very soon with another tutorial thank you guys